Nice. This is the worst hero in the game, and Blizzard have got no idea what to do with her. The first thing we need to talk about with Symmetra is, well, the new visual design of this hero. It is incredible. Look at these visual effects on the animations and just all the visual effects for her first person stuff. It's incredible. So firstly, if you melee, look at that. She's got this prismatic effect in her palm because she's got these like light projectors on her palm. It's it, like, that is so cool. I really like that. It's awesome design. Primary fire looks incredible. Look at that. It looks awesome. You've got this like prismatic beam effect. But not only that, I mean, look at the reload effect as well. So cool. If you're doing damage, look how the beam gets bigger and it looks like it's... Uh, look at that. This, that is, in, that is so much better. Look at the whole weapon array. This is one of the most unique weapons I think there is in any FPS game. It is so goddamn good. But look at this reload animation again. It's awesome. This, though, is the PS de resistance, ladies and gentlemen. Because her alternate fire now, look at that. It forms this sort of complex shape of hard light and it throws it at you and it shatters on impact that is mega this just used to be a ball of energy no no now it's actually a projectile of hard light being formed and fired out of the weapon if that isn't sick design i don't know what is that is awesome so when it comes down to this you know visual effects and stuff for symmetric they have absolutely nailed it well, I sure wish I was Hanzo at this moment in time, you know, spamming actual arrows that would do actual damage instead of this kind of really weak alternate fire. I also wish I could fly as well because, you know, getting knocked off the map by Doomfist never feels great. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just going to try and do some sim things here. So yeah, I'm going to use my teleporter to close on to the Widow. Then I'm going to out-snipe the Widow. Now, we don't know who this player is. They could be any rank. Who knows? It's, it's just a beta, but I thought this was kind of funny. I would die at my rank. The Widow would kill me. Uh, that is not an effective trade. But then I'm like, you know what? Let's just jump onto the point, chuck around some turrets, just do some general sim things. And that's kind of, well, what I'm doing. But the issue we've got with Symmetra is she is so limp that the hero doesn't have an identity, which is crazy to me because on paper, she should have one of the most distinct identities of any hero. And by the way, I still wish I was Hanzo, even though I'm getting kills spamming the, the alternate fire. If I was Hanzo, I would have got probably more kills or done more damage or killed them faster or whatever. St still wish I was Hanzo or Ash or anybody else with any kind of range. It just, just, just give me any other hero than Sim. She basically doesn't do... Like, there are other heroes that are just more effective than her in every single role, which is absolutely sad. Uh, also, Fat Beam. I would do anything for Fat Beam because it's the only time you're really going to do any damage with Symmetra. Now, okay, Doomfist gone in like a bit of an idiot there and, and whatnot, and Genji was jumping all over the place. And I think I'm going to use my barrier here, yeah, to just kind of give myself a bit of protection while I just try and go in on them with this beam and try and charge it up. But even then, they did still kind of escape me. Yeah, there was a good follow-up there by the Brig, but... This was probably one of my better clips here, just because the enemy team fed into me. Now, there's a bunch of changes to Symmetra, and we'll go over them a bit later in the video, because they are straight-up nerfs to the hero. I thought we might have been seeing a new era of Symmetra, but it's very clear Blizzard don't really know what they're doing with this hero, and it feels very, very limp, as I say. And there's just other heroes you can pick that would just be more effective in almost every single situation. I think one of the issues with Sim, by the way, this is that nice uh, snipe. It would have been nice if I was Ash here, or Soldier, or just anyone else, maybe even Sojourn, you know, because it would have been much easier to get that kill than try and land the right click with Symmetra. Um, but at least it's possible with Symmetra now, so I guess that's a bonus. Uh, yeah, anyway, there's no 2CP in the game. And you could argue 2CP was Symmetra's best uh, game mode. And that's n no longer in Overwatch 2. So she kind of suffers, right? <laughs> Although she's still quite, quite good on control. You know, you can lock down points. Anyway, let's talk about the changes here. And then what we're going to do is propose some, um, well, a fix to this. But we're also going to recap the state of Symmetra and how we've actually got here. So, Photon Projector Primary Fire. The maximum ammo has been increased to 100 but you no longer generate ammo from damaging barriers. This is stupid and needs to be reverted. Just let her get ammo from damaging barriers. I don't know why they've taken the offer. Makes no sense. Photon projector, the secondary fire. Projectile speed has been increased from 25 to 50, so they now travel twice as fast. The max damage, though, has been reduced from 120 to 90. This is to offset the speed increase because they're easier to hit. Uh, the ammo cost has been increased from 7 to 10, and the charge time is increased from 1 to 1.25. 
The teleporter build time has been reduced from two to one second. Now has a maximum life time of 10 seconds. Cooldown increased from 10 to 16 seconds, but cooldown starts when the teleporter is placed. The health has also been nerfed down from 300 to 200. Uh, which is 50 health and 150 shields and the range has been reduced from 30 to 22. Uh, in sentry turrets they travel faster when you throw them from 15 to 20 uh, however the movement speed reduction they apply to targets has been reduced from 20 to 15 percent per turret. Now it's weird this is I don't know what Blizzard are trying to do there is an identity crisis with this hero they're going from let's <laughs> Let's try and beef up her alternate fire to make it more of a skill shot. And I think they've done that. That's okay. Let's nerf the primary fire for some reason against barriers when there's only ever going to be one barrier, really. And if it's a Reinhardt, I don't think... Like, if Sim's running up to the Reinhardt and trying to charge a beam, she's probably out of position. She's probably going to get whacked, you know what I mean? But if she's not, and if she's pushed well and it's a good opportunity, just, just let her have that. I don't know why they've taken that from her. I, that's really weird. Um, and then we look at the teleporter. So this has been completely nerfed into the ground. So the range is what is the killer here. It no longer has that 30 range. It's only got 22, which just, again, it's very limp. It doesn't feel very impactful. Yes, the cooldown starts quicker. The build time has been reduced, so it feels snappier. Yeah, you can still do things like throw turrets with it and stuff like that. You know, place your turrets on the ground, then drop the teleporter and then move your turrets. I think I do it in one of the later clips in this video it's fine and then your sentry turrets have been nerfed now this one i do kind of agree with because the slow effect is always annoying like i don't like any kind of crowd control really so to re reduce that i think it's fine uh, and increase the travel time of the turrets yeah okay that's fine you can deploy them easier but this is where we move into the part of the video where it's like what do you do with this hero and how the hell did we get here and and i think we really 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 need to look at how we got here first because Sim used to be a support hero, and she would give you shield. So you literally would throw shields onto your allies. Then she got changed to be a damage hero, and if you guys remember, she had two unique ultimates, and she could throw a barrier. So she had this projected barrier, which of course was given over to Sigma, ultimately. But Sim had the original version of that, which was kind of weird. Again, there's this whole issue of what is the identity of this hero she's supposed to be a builder hero a support hero a damage hero she's got a teleporter but well, it's, it's really weird she had a shield generator so yeah she had two ultimates so she had shield generator and uh, i believe it was teleporter uh, was the ultimate um and she could throw a shield and it, it you know again it's all getting very confusing because blizzard were trying something a little bit different with the hero and again it didn't really work out she's still kept herself as this very niche hero. I remember as well, a primary fire used to automatically lock onto targets. Then that got changed, and, yeah, and I can't even remember when that got changed. There's so many changes that came into the hero. I think it might have been for her first, or maybe a second rework. Anyway, then Sim loses her ultimates and gets a massive barrier. <laughs> um, okay, so now she's got the biggest barrier in the game ever. And now we look at this Symmetra, and we're like, well, what... What is her niche or niche for my American friends? What is her niche? Where does she fit into this game? What I mean, that's a failed teleport. It actually worked out okay for me. But what, what do you do with this hero? Like, do you want to get onto a point and try and lock it down? I mean, look at me just trying to beam these guys down. They're just like, if I was any other hero here, I'd be more effective. Okay, once you've got fat beam rolling, sure, you're doing a ton of damage. But the... the man, I... They need to give her, her an identity, and it needs to be a very strong identity because what they've got with Symmetra is a hero that's got an amazing visual design, awesome visual effects. I am not joking. This is probably the best hero in the game for visual effects. They are insane. But what do you want her to do, Blizzard? Do you want her to just be a run-of-the-mill DPS? Do you want her to retain this hard light focus in which she's the architect, which is a law, where she can build stuff because she's obviously part of Vishgar and she was, uh, you know, building... Um, well, she was an architect and she was building stuff with hard light. And that's what, obviously, uh, her, that, that's the where her abilities come from. The fact that she can make turrets and teleporters and all of that stuff. Um, and obviously now her alternate fire being that sort of um, prismatic shape that she fires out, which is really cool. But you need to give her an identity. You obviously don't want her to be a shield breaker. That's fine. Shields are getting reduced in Overwatch anyway. There's only going to be one at any given time in a game uh, for you to attack. So, what's the plan? 
do you want to turn her into a mini reaper do you want to turn her into a mini hanzo do you want to turn her into a mini torb it's like they've got these three things all smashing against each other and there's no like there's no clear direction i think they just need to commit they just need to go we're either going to just turn it into a builder hero which i don't think works in overwatch anymore um sim well torb is okay but torb's turret is just it's kind of like an afterthought right the rest of torb is all of his other kit sim maybe her building mechanic needs to just be an afterthought maybe they need to just go hey okay sim you can drop one big turret or you can drop one teleporter or something and then then really focus on upgrading her kit because sim is very close range and i don't think there's any time where you want to use sim over a reaper in in that scenario or over even a cassidy a soldier you know you can a hanzo you can, a soldier you can just list every other dps hero off and this is maybe the other issue with the hero maybe she is a defense hero and that's the problem blizzard is still treating her like a defense hero and they need to just make a change i would like to see some i mean i don't know like the thing with sim i mean even i'm getting confused as to what i would do with the hero I think you could maybe push her into the support category, although I don't think that would be a great idea. I think she needs to stay as a, a DPS hero. Defense DPS heroes are long, long gone. Um, I don't like what they're doing with her alternate fire because it's not very powerful at range. Even though you might have seen in this video a bunch of, you know, me getting a bunch of kills, that's great, but there's a bunch of other heroes that would just be more effective in those scenarios. Um, she may be suffering from the jack of all trades master of none syndrome so i think she just needs more focus i think blizzard need to go back to the drawing board and go we're just going to this is what sim does and we're going to make her strong at that whether it's close range high damage whether it's medium range builder whether it's long range i don't know what the hell she would be long range or even if it's some sort of support style dps i don't know they just need to sit down though and really hammer home what they want to do with this hero because i feel really sad for sim mains because i don't really know why you would play this hero when there's a load of other heroes that are just way better <laughs> i mean yeah you could play just because you like it that's a great, great great enough reason but i just feel like she's um man i don't know let me know in the comments below guys sim is in a bad bad spot right now uh, I'm hoping Blizzard actually come and readdress this and look at other ways of changing her. Maybe we see some buffs coming soon, um, but I guess they'd probably only be to damage figures and, and stuff like that. I can't see any wholesale rework. Maybe Sim does need another rework again. I just don't know, guys. I just don't think she fits in this world of Overwatch 2. I don't think she actually worked towards the end of Overwatch 1 that effective, uh, effectively. And now, with the removal of 2CP... With it being 5v5, uh, I think Sim's really, really struggling. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I've been Stylosa. If you've enjoyed the video, then do leave a comment below, especially if you've got ideas for a Symmetra rework. Uh, and follow me on everything, which is at Stylosa. I'm also at StylosaUL on TikTok. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you soon.